What is this? We got a freaking, we got a tri-state truck in the shop this morning doing some things. What are you doing in there, Shock? Running some wires. Running some wires? Yeah. So Jay brought this truck down and uh, we're gonna make it light up a little bit more now. That way people can see him when he's hauling show trucks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, Jay from Tri-State brought a comatose up to the shop here and we're gonna be doing a few little lighting upgrades on it. And this is actually a new product that we're gonna have for, well, if you're watching the video, it's for sale on the website now. And if you guys ever need safety lighting uh, for a 389, this is a pretty cool hidden kit. Goes in the front grill and uh, well, it lets everybody know that you're coming and they can see you day or night because they're bright. It's a Firewire product and uh, pretty freaking awesome. We're gonna show you the whole install on this. It's very simple. And when we're all said and done, Jay will be hitting the road and everybody's gonna know he's pulling around some nice show trucks. So Jay, I have a question. Yeah. Is it just really tough driving a truck like this and having to just always pull show trucks around? Man, it's kettle lagging. <laughs> so the running joke is all he does is haul show trucks, <laughs> which is not mean. which is not true, but maybe it is true. I don't Sail, know. Sailboat fuel and show trucks, that's it. Sailboat <laughs> fuel. Does that pay pretty good? Pay pretty good. See, you guys need to get into sailboat fuel hauling. Mm -hmm. It's light, so you get good fuel mileage. And good fuel mileage. Yeah. I never really thought about it, but somewhere someone needs some sailboat fuel this guy's gonna haul it for you all right so here is the setup so these bars right here have four firewire amber white strobing leds um, they actually bolt directly on to the condenser on the front end of the truck which hides the lights behind the grill and um they're pretty freaking bright yeah i mean you'll you see probably them. need some sunglasses you need some shades fire them up Oh yeah. Pretty cool. So we ship these out. They will come with the lights already mounted on them. Um, you know, just they bolt in back here. We cut the uh, back of the, the bolts off to keep everything kind of nice and smooth. It is pretty close to the condenser. So we're just trying to keep it, you know, as much uh, space in between there as we can. And uh, they'll be pre-wired. Now on these, for Jay's truck, we've already put uh, wire loom on all this the kit doesn't come we don't pre do them with wire loom and all that so if a person wants wire loom they, you'll need to get that yourself and put it on but otherwise it'll have all the wires that'll run out it gets in a four-way plug right here and then this dude is your flasher more or less and you've got a um, a fuse here and just your positive negative which you'll run to a switch in the truck flip it on and they strobe so you'll have two of these that'll connect to a switch one for each bar and um really it depends on how long it takes a person to do some wiring work but uh the way they're set up go over here and show you real quick you'll put a little bit longer bolt in right here which we've already done and uh that whole bar will slide right across it'll bolt on right here and then you'll run your wires down and then down through here through the frame rail up to your firewall. And uh, you can either go in from the passenger side and behind the dash, which is the easiest place I think to go uh, get the wires into the dash into a switch. And uh, you hook up the switch and you're done. So really the install on these won't take long at all. And uh, pretty cool trick away. Once everything's said and done, you'll close the hood. You won't be able to see them um, real well. I mean, you can, you can look through the grill and see them, but they definitely don't stand out a lot. We started doing this because a lot of people were, um, a lot of people bolt lights just directly to the front grill of a truck. And I don't love it. It's just, you know, you'll see, you'll see a truck and it'll have the lights just mounted like right here on the, like wrecker guys, a lot of wreckers. I see it that way, tow trucks and, uh, and even heavy haul guys, they just, they, they'll bolt a light directly onto the grill and it kind of stands out and sort of, I don't know, it just takes away from the look of a truck. And me and Shock a while back was trying to figure out how to do something cooler. And we come up with this. We've done it like two years ago. Has it been that long? A year and a half or so. Yeah. 
and we kept saying we were going to make a bunch of these and put them on the website and sell them and we never did and now we're here we are <laughs> yeah finally a year and a half later we've uh we've got them we've got all the lights we got everything in stock and they are on the website generally um if they're in stock they'll ship within a couple of days if we run out of them and we got to make more um we kind of on the website uh we just go ahead and say we ship them within you know seven working days but in some cases you'll get it sooner than that um and it'll they'll just you know it'll be just like this it'll be ready to go bolt it right onto the condenser plug it into your switch and you're done so now we're going to go ahead and just put these on and show you how we're doing the running the wires and stuff and once all that's done jay can go down the road and everybody's gonna move out of your way <laughs> so we're just gonna get right to it so the lights we're using today on this, they are the Firewire surface mount. They're amber white. Part number is a FM SMAW. And uh, if you were to order just the light, this is what you would end up getting. You'd get a light with this wiring here. And you'll get your strobe controller, which is that dude, with the fuse. And it comes with a couple of uh, bolts and nuts to, to mount this thing on there. Another thing too, I should mention that we make, we were gonna put it on Jay's truck, but then he's got these big sleeper panels on there. So this, this light setup won't actually work on the truck, but we have these for sale on the website as well. And this bracket, which we're gonna show in another video because uh, we're doing the same setup on the uh, North Carolina State Trooper truck, but we're doing blue and white on it. But these bolt right onto your, uh, your tank strap bracket and face straight out. Um, basically they would, if you can imagine if they were on the, if you didn't have, you know, the big panel like this one does, they would be sitting like right here where the tank strap brackets are and firing straight out, which are pretty nice. Um, Jay already has some on the sides here, back here by his fenders. So we don't need to, uh, he doesn't really need them. I mean, nobody could ever have too many lights, but then panels are kind of in the way. So we're not putting them on this truck, but we'll be showing those in another video very soon with a blue and white fire wire set up and these will be on there. But you can also buy these in pairs. We've got them on the website as well. And um, pretty cool setup, easy to do. All right, so on our side mount lights, this is kind of how that deal is gonna go. So if you can see right here, it bolts right there to the fuel tank bracket comes out and then you've got your wire here. Once you once you, you put this on there, you'll uh, you'll tie these wi wires up right here and then run them over. And it works pretty good. It's not a, it's not something that's like a major eyesore when you're looking at it going down the road. And especially if you put like a, a four inch or even a six inch cabin sleeper panel, uh, they'll show up pretty well on there. So that's that setup. And again, you can uh, go to semicasualshow.com and we've got them we got them on the website. All right, so we're putting the first bar on. So over here, we run a pretty tight, tight ship. And uh, basically, if you're the customer and you bring your truck here, we'll probably, uh, we'll probably recruit you for some labor. We're gonna do the top one first or the bottom. Yeah, we'll do the bottom. Oh, we're doing bottom. Also, when you're doing this, don't take all four of the bolts out at the same time. Um, your condenser won't like you for that. I'll just do two. We'll put the uh, washer behind it. Yeah, we'll. Uh, I've got washers over there on that table. So you can kind of see how these sit in here right now. Widen the camera out. There we go. Watch where you put your hands. <laughs> so install is that simple. Two bolts. You're gonna change the you're gonna change the factory bolts out to, with these. They'll be in the kit, and then from there we're gonna run the wires down. So we got one more to mount up here, and then we'll run our wiring down the frame rail here, come up. Uh, this one's gonna be pretty easy because Jay already had uh, a light set up that we took out. 
and so he's already got a wire ran for it and a switch so for us this makes it super fast we'll just tie into his existing deal and uh and it's ready to go but if you're doing it and you've never put lights on it and you're doing it for the first time um you'll run your you run your wire across the firewall there and go in here do what he was hiding the washers oh we're doing the second one now How many times have you gone to a shop and they make you they make you use tools? I'm not used to this automatic tool. <laughs> I'm used to manual. Very nice. There you go. Now you got eight strobes in front of the truck, hidden behind the grill. So we got all our wiring done, everything. Jay's in the truck. He's gonna fire the lights up for a second. But first, well, okay, we're doing the lights first. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, we got our eight strobes going. They were pretty bright. All right, you can shut them off. So wiring wise, uh, Shock basically just ran the wires straight down here. Uh, goes down back behind the radiator everything's tied up to like the existing wiring harness that's inside the frame and up front right there uh it runs all the way back comes up the firewall here and uh and we just got it tied into where he had his original wire and uh done deal typically if, if it wasn't already pre-wired for some lights you would again you'd run it back over the other side and through the firewall and under the dash and hook it up to a switch but you can kind of see what he done here we just took some gel clamps and uh, works really well. Super clean, won't give many issues. These things are really sturdy. You can't hardly move them at all. So uh, yeah, now we'll just flip the hood closed and see what they look like. Pretty awesome. So you can see like without the lights on, you don't really you don't really see them at all behind the grill. Go ahead. Oh, that looks awesome. Flip your light bar on too. That's pretty nice. You should come check it out. That works a whole lot better, don't it? That works good too. It like it's it's reflecting off the fins. I like that a lot. Let's shut them off, so you can see them back behind the grill there. Yeah, I mean you stand back a couple of foot from the truck and you really can't see them. It's awesome. Well, there you go. Now we can go hook up that. Uh, a big load. That, that fancy show truck. Yeah. We got a we, next little part of the video we're gonna go over and get hook the trailer up. We got a pretty cool uh pretty cool ride loaded on there today. Real cool ride. So uh all right, we'll back this thing out of the shop and uh head over to the other shop and get the trailer. All right, so we got the truck back over here to the lot. Jay's got the trailer all hooked back up with his uh with the load, so uh We'll go over that in a second because that's pretty cool. But kind of better look at the lights now. I mean, this is daytime. They're plenty bright during the day. They are. They're pretty awesome. I like, I mean, it turned out awesome. And it works good because it fits right where you need them to with that grill. Right. And that was the only thing I was curious about. I mean, that's a, you know, if a, if a guy's doing that, in uh, your own shop or something it really shouldn't take you more if you had to wire the switch up and everything i don't think that should take you more than an hour and a half and you're done uh i mean because it already comes with you know we already put the lights on the bar and everything else is like ready to go it's kind of a bolt-on deal so real simple way to throw some extra lights on a truck and keep them hidden because like when you shut the lights off you really can't you really hardly notice them so you, you are you happy you like those love them good right just make sure as long as you like them. Oh yeah. That's the important part. 
So there you go. If you want a set of those, you can go to semicasualshow.com and get them. And uh, they're on the website right now. But let's look over here at the load because that's pretty cool. Jay came down here and picked up Troy's uh, 389X. They're taking it back to Texas. They're going to do a couple of things to it, and they're bringing it right back to us. And uh, we got we got a bunch of stuff we're going to be doing to it. But there it is. Sharp looking ride. And when this thing's all done, it's going to look really awesome. But Troy said he didn't want no miles on this truck. So current condition, it is going to be a trailer queen. You know a thing or two, though, about trailer queens. You haul them around everywhere. That's, that's all I do. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here keep, for. Keep it. the miles down. That thing's sharp. I don't remember what we did on the wheelbase, but I think it's 320. 320. Is it? It is 320? It looks awesome. Thing's freaking long. It'd be cool. I can't wait to get it. You'll be back up here in like a week or two anyhow. About two weeks. Yeah. And then we'll be... Uh, We'll be doing some work to this thing. He's dropping it back off to us. And I guess you can give us like a two week review on your lights. You can tell us if they fall off or anything. Right. <laughs> they ain't falling off. Nah, they ain't coming off. But yeah, there's a, there's Troy's 389X. And that thing just has just enough room to fit on there, right? Okay. This tra Will this trailer stretch out anymore? It'll, it'll stretch out 50? All the way up. Nice. 30, 30 to 50. That's cool. That stretch four foot just to get that on. Would you say this is like the heaviest load you've had as far as show trucks? It's up there with it. Yeah. Yeah. Most of most time they're flat tops or day cabs. If we, uh, if we put anything else on there, you'd probably have to drop that stinger, right? Drop the third axle, put the stinger over, yeah. drop axle down. It's the whole deal. <laughs> we're we're seriously being smart alex here <laughs> don't listen to us we're just joking but yeah there's the whole setup come with those trucks heading back to uh texas with some new lights in it i really do like those all right guys that's it for the video we got the lights done on Jay's truck here, and uh, he is headed back to Texas with a big old load, way overweight. Way over. So he we spent all morning just getting permits and everything else just to get out of if Tennessee. If you see me driving in the middle of the night, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we're all done, and the truck's heading out of here, and it looks super awesome. If you guys want this setup, it's on our website. Go to semicasualshow.com. We've got those on the website now, and I've also got the hidden reverse light brackets, and they're on the website, so you can you can purchase those as well. And you can get hoodies and hats and all that good stuff, so uh, be sure to go check that out. And, uh, you know, do the little bell deal and like and subscribe and all those things so you can see more of our videos. And otherwise, we'll just see you on the next one. Later. Later.